Come on. Welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Star Wars. Yes, I'm Cody. I'm David. And we are back in it. So, who are you playing as again, Cody? I forgot. Well, to recap, we be what happened last time. If you missed it, uh, Lighty McSaberface, our hero of the story, uh, ha- w- woke up and then his friend uh, led him down a hallway, and then his friend died tragically, and then we made a new friend. Then we made a new friend after we escaped an exploding ship and seeing some Jedi. Uh, the important thing, though. We were stealing from this person. Now we're talking to her. We, we talked to her. We were talking to her, and then we were taking her stuff. Go talk to her again. You didn't finish the conversation. Did I not? We were rudely interrupted by my landlord's uh, lawnmower. Ah. Hello, dear. Why do you keep bothering me? Uh. <laughs> I'm just looking for something to steal. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. I want to ask you some questions. Since this thing is Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what. Frickin' Holden! Oh, who's Holden? Yeah, who? Just who is Holden? Can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibra blade. Oh Too shit! It's my kind of lady. Maybe I'll be going. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm in enough trouble already. Oh dear. Besides, I it's trauma. Trauma? How how is your so, persuasion? Oh, I can persuade. You can trust me. I suppose you see me. <laughs> when I cut Holden, it made him back off. It was also embarrassed him in front of his friend. Holden's a spiteful little cut slide. Oh yes, your first quest. Your first side quest, so you can start being distracted from the main quest. Woo! At least in this game, you would never get like too Ooh. distracted from your main quest. You know, like in some like Skyrim, like yeah. you forget what the main quest even was, like, was like, partway through. What was I supposed to be doing in Skyrim? Was I just what isn't I just a medieval explorer? That's all I ever was, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? I don't know. Domic, you remember that name? You're in here a lot yeah, while right you're on this planet. Holden is one of the Domics. Yeah. I'll just collect that bounty. Nah, nah. I'll take, speak to Holden. Probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darby. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. But still, I appreciate the offer. Alright, I'll be going. I'll be going. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Oh yeah, I'll talk some sense to him. Yeah. With my vibro blade. Also my persuasion. Uh, uh that's tap X for me. Boop. That's okay, that's how you activate that. You turn around. Yeah, you want to go that way. Okay. So I'm not going to try... I'm going to try not to help you too much. But I'm going to keep you going in the right direction. This yeah, looks there. like there a cantina. There. Okay. It's no, not... dude, it's cantina's in a different building. Oh. Well, then I guess we got to go to the upper city? Yep. Well. So, uh, open that and move away. Move away. Eh, I know. Uh, the wrong move away. Well, I, move away as in you, you, away. You, can, you can't move backwards. You can if I right. tried to move backwards and it was like oh forwards while turning. All right, move. Okay, move away a little bit. Okay. So look at keep going. All right, you can't really, uh, go up and click on the end on your top of the board, uh, the screen. Uh, go up. Yeah, click on the end. Okay. All right. Okay, you can't see it. Hey, close. All right, so on the mini map, a blue door means an exit. A blue line is a door that leads to a different area. Okay. A green door is just a door you can open. All right. So you already went that way. I know. I'm, just trying, going? I'm trying to get the blue line to pop up. You have to go away. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of say just that it's so uh, it's so uh, unexplored. What What do you say, guy? Wow, too busy to talk to me. I see. They're, they're busy droids. Goodness. Some people let fame go to their heads. Oh, you didn't want to go to the cantina? Is that where that was? Yeah. Well, alrighty then. Just, you see an open area, you don't immediately go explore it. Uh, the, I, I immediately explore most open areas. Then why didn't you go explore this one? Well, 
The one you're supposed to go to. Oh, by open area, I don't mean area that is open to my access. I mean large open spaces. You have to go this way no matter what. Okay. Hmm. Hey there, friendo. I'm here on a <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why I didn't say uh, open, it just said unlock. But whatever. That's fine. So, I wanted to go to the lower city cantina to find that guy, didn't I? You can't go there yet. I don't. Got I'll, I'll tell you right now that it is locked oh. off by Sith. Ah. Only, yeah. only Sith can go down there. Oh, wait. What are you? You oh. can watch arenas. Nah. Nah, I'm good. I'm not about that violence. I'll immediately stab this guy with my eyebrow blade, though. Don't worry about that. Alright, so... Do you want to play cards? Hold on, what was what was I supposed to be doing? You were supposed to be trying to get down to the lower levels. Message dialogue. Oh, what's your main quest right now? You're trying to find Basila. Ah, uh, Bastilla. Basila. Ah, uh, yes. The only person capable of stopping the Sith from conquering the entire galaxy. Yep, it's all up to you. Well, that's vague. You don't, you don't really know where she is, so you're trying to find people that do know where she is. Well, I'm going to assume these nameless people mean nothing. No, you have to find somebody with a name. Uh, Taurus Citizen, what are you? Taurus Citizen. They'll have a very uh, different look. Uh, um, yes, these guys are actually all repeating. I just noticed. Or, you know, this place... This is for the original Xbox. That guy only has dialogue, I believe, if you're a female. He's here to pick up chicks, and you are not a chick, so he will not talk to you. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the lady. Told you. As it is, surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Wow. <laughs> wow. How do I attack? You can't. Dang. This is Skyrim. <laughs> Sad face. Don't 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 be like don't be like a roommate playing playing Dark Souls meets the fir the first NPC he meets that's going to tell him how how the game works. He attacks him before he can say anything, thinking, "Ah, oh, nothing bad will happen." He kills him. Oh, he's he's a noble. What do you have? Fuck off. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I'm wearing armor. Our soldiers, common rabble. Hold on. Oh, she's got a name. Yeah. Hey there. Let, let me. Let me. Let me just hit tab. Me, I think. Oh, there, there we go. go. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers. She's a sexy oh, Sith dear. officer. If from the military base. You don't look like one. My name is Sama. Do you know if he's the first class with the Sith occupation base? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how she takes this. Nice to meet you, Sarna. I'm Lady McSaberface. Oh. Oh, they're just. Sith they're just misunderstood. Yeah. Do your job. Yeah, don't hold that against you. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's your job. Good, I guess. It's pretty positive. Yeah, yeah. I, she immediately goes on a short rant about negative things. You know, you got a pretty positive attitude. And now she's chipper. I don't know. All right, so you blew off some steam. Yeah, you need to blow off some steam once in a while. Nice Thank you, random citizen. <laughs> I have to get going soon. No, I'm not random anymore. I'm Lighty McSaberface, and she knows. Oh, well, they're in a party, Cody. Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds good. good. So they tell you not to be late, but you can ride whenever you want. Okay. Well, I mean, the party don't start till I walk in, David. 
All right, there's nothing. There's really nothing else in this in this cantina for you at the moment. I mean, you could do the uh, duels, mm. but I mean, you only do it for cash. You don't actually kill anybody because they're all uh, yeah, they're all safe duels. Uh, who are you? You want to play some Pazak, which is the Kotor version of Gwent? Oh, or I guess the witch, I guess Kotor did it first. So I, get, I don't know who did, who did the weird deck building games. Uh, I that I believe started with three Dragon Ante in Dungeons and Dragons. I meant in video games. Oh, I mean. It's an RPG. This is the first one I encountered when grow, growing up, and I never played it until recently. Who Just because I couldn't be asked. Who are you? I used to be a card shop. Oh. The only reason why I played Gwent in, uh, in uh, Witcher 3 is because that's how you ro- unlock one of the romantic interests, is to win. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you also get a crap ton of money. What, you get why? like four and a half grand for winning. Why would you ever give up gambling? You should gamble on everything. <laughs> will this ant make it across the room, or will he just turn around? Gamble on that shit. Yeah, Put gambling lets you go everywhere. Cody, remember that. Yes. <laughs> He's old. Oh, yeah. It, it's because he's so old. That's why he stopped gambling. So that noble guy, he actually does have a purpose. I would imagine. Uh, you, you pro. I don't know if you'll see it. All right, he'll give you uh, fifty credits, and he'll give you his starter deck and a free lesson. It's up to you. No, no, he, he doesn't give me fifty credits. I give him. As I said, for fifty credits, oh, okay. he'll give you a starter deck and a free lesson. So it's up to you whether or not you actually want to play. I'm pretty sure I can't afford that right now. You can. Yeah. You, you, I think you have a. You think you have a decent amount of money. To All right. It's not like D and D where you start off like ten gold. Okay. I'll be going now. If you want to check your money for real quick, you can. Uh yeah. The, and the option to buy it wouldn't come up if you couldn't actually afford it. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Huh. Why would your character say I can afford that? So that was kind of like, no, oh, you can't. <laughs> I have a high persuasion. <laughs> Hit, uh, so pull it up. I think you tab just pulls it up for you. Tab. No, tab switches characters. Tab. Uh, uh, far oh, left. Money's. Credits. Credit 68. 68. You have exa- just enough to buy it. It's up to you. Uh, uh, it I'll just wait. depends. Do you want to play Pazak? I'm going to wait. Do you want to know how Pazak works? Uh, no. I don't know how... But do you I want do, me to tell you how Pazak works? How does Pazak work, I should Pretty say? Pretty much, that's... you 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 have a deck of ten. Okay. And you're randomly given four. Then you and your opponent... And, uh, you and, your, and the, your, your deck gives you their, their difference between, like, increase and decrement of points. So one card may give you four extra points, one card may take away four points. Okay. And the point of the game is... You are constantly given a random card uh, from the main deck, and you you want to make sure that you 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 hit twenty or and do not go over twenty points. So a little bit like blackjack. Yeah. Okay. If you go over if you go over twenty, you uh, you have to hope the other guy goes over twenty in the next round, or you will lose, or you have to you can stop close to twenty and just let and just hope he doesn't do better. So exactly like blackjack. Yeah, I don't know. I've never played blackjack, gotcha. so it's probably like just like blackjack. But can, can you add your own cards in blackjack? No, you can't do that. So it's like so it's like blackjack but cheating. Yeah. So to your left is a store, but yeah, you can see any menu app. So you see yeah, that green, green door? Green door. That's when you can open the blue door in the bottom is to, to a different area. What was this? Just equipment, emporium. Right. It's a sign. Hello, Kibla Yurt. Star Wars has the best names. Oh, you talk. You guys had droids kind of wander on the back forever. He's fine. He's getting fixed. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Yeah, she's pretty much the main 
place you can buy from for right now. Okay. Oh, dang. My Xbox is better graphics than your computer. That's because I turned off all of the graphics. Just to make sure that it wouldn't crash, because it kept crashing on the beginning for some reason. I still don't know how, but my Xbox, like, crashed, and then when I loaded it up again, it gave me, like, save fi file, you played 11,000 hours. Mm -hmm. I lost and gained an X I lost 2 XP, I gained light and dark. I don't, I don't know what happens. It's, it's like the most random thing. <laughs> so, yeah, you have your buy list, and then you... You can click on your sell list if you want to try selling some stuff. So, I've got med packs. You want to keep your computer spike and computer parts. Those are pretty good. Okay. So I don't know if you want the extra viral blades or blaster pistols or whatever. Yeah. Probably you you probably don't. You probably want to keep everything right now. I wouldn't buy anything right now. All right. So yeah, the, the uh, adrenal things are. You pretty much you poke yourself and you get a couple boosted stats for for about thirty seconds or something. Oh, no, it, David, it was assigned to walk around, probably to promote mm -hmm. the fact that she's good with her robots. Alright. So, you, you're done with her. Goodbye. You can ignore her. Alright. So, go to your right. Whoa. Oh, Garth wants to talk. Yeah. You, look at that bothered face of his. He's he's shaking his head. Right, you gotta speak to him or don't speak to him. Garth, what's going on? What? No more about Wait. You. Wait, so you like the asked, architecture in the back? So I'm like, hey, Karth, what's on your mind? And he's like, what's on your mind? Is that what just happened? Oh, no, it's more you kind of turn and stop. And he's like, what? Okay. It's more you approached him, but yeah, it kind of seems kind of weird. Karis, the planet's all one big city, but it's golden years and long past. Yep, that's the, uh, archi that's the world of Star Wars. All planets are one giant biome. This this is city planet. This is a city planet. Coruscant is also a city planet. It's a much bigger city planet. Does it rain here? I wonder. It's I don't a know. city. Yeah, you want to choose that one. So yeah, this is unlike a lot of gate, a lot of their other games. They'll actually, if you walk around with certain party members, they'll stop you to talk about their feelings and that's how you get learn more about them after you do it enough you unlock you can you unlock the option to do their uh, side quest okay but you have to learn more about them first yeah you can always say you know yeah so his yeah. home world was bombarded and pretty much annihilated Telos the first one of the first planets you go to in the second game yeah and it's actually a major part in the second game oh you're, you're talking like you did this. I did everything I could. It shouldn't be his fault. You're saying like that. What? What do you? I failed them. Do Do you Do you mean those guys? No. Oh, oh, he's got uh, survival. Uh, no, remorse? He, he, he was no. He was never there. Oh, he was never there. He, what happened was the sh Sith showed up. And just blew up the planet, and just pretty much wiped out the planet. Okay. But you'll learn more about it later on. I don't want to spoil it too much for you. Well. Alright, so, you like that architecture behind you? Da da da. A little bit more to the left. Da da. This guy? Yeah, like that. Just just three to float. Can I, can no, I that's just, under? just look pretty. Okay. I wanted to look. I Alright, turn around. Under. Turn, look. Yep, that way. Go well, that way. This is the way I was going to head next. Yep. Specifically, I wanted to talk to this guy. Sith business. Sith business. I was like, we're on official Sith business. He he stuttered for a moment, like, like just, just, just go, just, just, just go, go away. just go away. Let's just. All right, so you go to your here. right or your left. Your left will bring you to a whole entire new area. So I go right first. All right. Whoa. It's Walrus man. Oh dear. You'll see this face a lot. Huh. The, I, 
Well, I commend Star Wars and Knights of the Republic for a lot. They do reuse a lot of faces. <laughs> I feel it was also a... a so yeah, when you talk to aliens, they'll constantly repeat the same kind of voice lines. Just because it's just kind of mumble jumbo to you. Yeah. You still this guy. So yeah, sometimes you're... So like... In, in this game, there is no influence or uh, rivalry or whatever in it, like in other games. Okay. As long as you... As long as you talk to them, you just don't spit in their face. They'll like you. All right. Well, so, I, they'll, just I, have, they'll just have they'll just have sad comments about if you do what they like or if you don't do what they like. Well, I don't like that guy's attitude, so he's about to get beat down. <laughs> oh, but that's actually a pretty good comeback. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take. You know, walrus men have a bad habit of. Uh, Don't grenade him. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, just critical strike him. They're, it's not worth a grenade. Walrus men have a bad habit of losing their limbs in the Star Wars universe, so let's... Uh, there is no dismemberment in this game. Well, that's what I'm going to imagine is what is happening. It's space. Hold on. Tabby. He gets to do stuff, too. Just so you know, you know, while those do more damage and so that, they're also less likely to hit. Yes. Oh, there you go. That, was... <laughs> not really bounty hunters. They're more just really they're, they're aggressive tax collectors. Well, debt collectors. <laughs> There's Davik again. Uh, uh, maybe I can help you. I'm just glad I could help. <laughs> I don't regret it. Life is our our savior. Yes, that's right. Uh, I, I'm going to say maybe I can help. I'm not going to say I'm just glad I could help because this character is like a smuggly dude, and smuggly dudes are jerks. <laughs> you can't spare hundred credits. Nope. <laughs> Well, I guess I don't have any other choice. Yeah, give know. me all your money, and then I will have all the credits to give you. <laughs> exactly. All right. Yep. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. All right. So yeah, okay. if if you had given him money, you would have gotten uh, light side points. Oh look, fifty credits. Well, wait, old man. <laughs> Come back! Too late. He's gone forever. Not gonna pick up the guy's remains. Oh, did that guy have remains too? Yeah. He does. More, <laughs> more. Crap. Well, old man, let me tell you: if you would have just waited a second. <laughs> Ooh, this guy's got a name. There, there is a. <laughs> Table there that I did not see. <laughs> did you not see that? Uh, it blends in with the floor. Mm, no wonder I have one of those back there. Probably something that's not important. Yeah, maybe. You're always an off worlder. You, I can just tell by your face. I can tell your face. It's oddly, it's, it's oddly low res. <laughs> oh, jeez. The Ragul disease. I know about that from my Star Wars lore. Do you? I I, I only know it from this planet. Uh, it's basically like zombies, but not. They're mutants, and they have... Yeah, I, I, know, I know what it does. You fight these guys in the game. Okay. Can you guess where you fight them? Probably this planet. Where on this planet? Can you guess? Probably way down low where there's nothing. Ragul disease. What's that? Nope. I actually know this. All time. right. So if you want, you can just say, you can ask somebody else for sale. He he sells medical supplies. So if you want to buy more med kits. All right. Let me uh, look at what you have. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Uh, want to get general information about Tyrus. Do you know anything about the Republic of Spigate pods that crashed in the Undercity? No. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those 
pods crashed in the undersea. I'm not involved in any way. <laughs> okay. Just if you know something. Yeah. So, I want you to run and talk to the Sith. I mean, I, was, I, I feel that's a that's a threat. Yeah, so that's the, kind of an evil choice. It's kind of an evil see, choice. Like, you seem awfully defensive but, about this. Yeah, no, he was very defensive what? No, about no, this. I, did, I don't know nothing. I, I don't know anything. What are you talking about? Why, why did your voice sound almost like a robot there? Were you trying to have a natural voice? What? No. Why would you say such a thing? I am human like you. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, shit. You're not sexy enough. But I have so much persuasion. It's not, you don't have enough charisma. I wasn't expecting this. Alright, I'll be going now. Unless you want to buy stuff from him. You got a hundred more credits. I want to ask you some questions. We're going to... We're going to do it... We're going to try it again. I wonder, if you, I wonder if you can loop it. I'm not trying to loop it. I'm going to... Ask him how he feels about them. We don't need medics. <laughs> Why would we, a military organization that is constantly hurting people, need need with medical aid? That's because they're only the weak the need medics. They're the ones doing the hurting, so it's fine. What would you like to know? They usually hurt themselves more, hurt well, each other more than they hurt the enemy. That's the reason why. That's, a, that's like the number one reason why the states just keep failing. Is that like? From what I found is that, yeah, they are actually kind of more powerful than the Jedi, but they keep killing each other. <laughs> they keep That's, having their own civil wars and like who's in command. That that is why. Tell me about the Undercity. There they are. I found them. Tell me about the lower city. Swoop games. They just swoop down and grab you. They got they got bikes. They're, they're biker gangs. They're biker gangs. Yeah, but there's actually no room to actually bike around and down there. I don't know. Huh. Tell me about the upper one. I like this guy. Kind of regret threatening him earlier. So yeah, just so you know, this, you're just pretty much getting fluff right now. Yeah, I mean, fluff is helpful. Yeah, but I, I'm here for the fluff reasons so our audience doesn't get die of boredom. That's fair. Uh, I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> I'll see if the persuasion option is there again. Uh, you click through it. Oh, it is. You see, you can do the you seem awfully defensive about uh, this. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do this time because I don't expect persuasion to. <laughs> I'm I'm not defensive. You're defensive. I won't betray your secret if you tell me. Do it. That's true. Aha. It's funny. I, I never asked him about this. I I always just broke in. <laughs> He's like, "What are you doing?" Oh. Oh. I, I add them to my collection. I added them to my collection of refugees from other planets. <laughs> I keep them here Thanks, in vacuum tanks. I like, I like the back of your head. It's yeah. a nice head. <laughs> I'm not going to look at you. That's how much respect I have for you. Yeah. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Is there anything I can do to help? Nope. <laughs> I only wish there was more I could do. Medical science has only come so far. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Yeah, all we have is floating bath tubes. It's fine. It's such a weird thing that always seems to come up in sci fi. Uh, I know in Star Wars the back to tanks are full of like little things that 
Uh, yeah, but it happens a lot in sci-fi, I see, for some reason. Yeah, you need to let yourself into it. I can bash it in. Security it in. See, that, see I don't know why. Uh, I feel like security is kind of a, a, we, a useless ability because you can always just bash your way in. It just takes a little bit longer. Huh. Uh, in two, they actually implement, implement it where if you bash something, there's a chance you'll you'll if you bash bash like a box, it'll, you'll break you'll the break. contents. Ah. But on one, that doesn't happen. So I don't know what's the consequence of bashing things. I, I think like certain doors can't be open unless you have security. But yeah. besides those rare occasions, car is citizen. They are everywhere. Standard door. Is it green? What color are you? It's blue. Oh. So if you want to enter a new area, go ahead. Why not? Uh, I want to see what what's out and about here. Sure. Lauren. It's not like that area is... Nah, whatever. I'll let you... <laughs> I'll let you screw around a little bit. I, I gotta let you bumble into things a little bit more. I mean... Turn around. Turn around? What? Did I miss something? Go on the other side. On the other side? Turn. What? Shlummies. Yeah. You better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey guys, we can all be friends. You better think twice about you doing. This might be more than you can handle. Uh, no, no, no. Suave. <laughs> No more drinks. So if you had failed to persuade them, they would think you're insulting them, and then you'd murder them. And then, then I would murder them. Because all they have is fists, and you, you have a sword. <laughs> I do. Have and a your sword. friend has two guns. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Friends and fellow humans. <laughs> Okay. You like plagues? Plagues are sometimes fun. Yeah, the spread of vermin. I wonder who he's talking about. <laughs> yep, he is racist. Wow. Yeah, no, he is. Like, you talk about the Sith? No, no. Aliens. The AAL. Yes, the AAL. Is he the only member of the AAL? <laughs> My guess was, seems like. Crazy cool. I don't know which is worse. You hate Mongrel or you're a great. Look at that guy next to you. He's got a line. Oh, that guy is that. <laughs> your graphics are killing Let's him. see. Well, good luck in your crusade. Oh, look at this. <laughs> His eyes, my god, your graphics are so horrible. What? I didn't say that. I said, go, have fun with that. Yeah, so he took that literally. Okay, alright. <laughs> have fun with that. What are you doing? It's too bad you don't have Sith stuff. Hint, hint, hint. Yep. I need some of their, that grat sweet armor. I'll be going. I'm not here to give you anything. Well, fine. I right, turn around. You know there's nothing over there. Uh, I'm literally, there's nothing over nothing. there. Got it. you just walking over there just to come all the way back. Alright. So now you can either go straight or go check out that area you didn't check out earlier. I told you to check out. I'm going to go check out that other place. Why not? Yeah, that's, that's how you progress. I hope I get to see those guys in the tavern sometime. I don't want to buy them drinks, but they seem like okay guys once you get past them. Slowly. Oh, they're, they're, they are, they're over there. Yeah, the drunk mate, you can go talk to them. Can I? Yeah. Do they do they accept me? Are they like, hey, it's that cool slummy? No, nah, he's just too drunk. Wave sheepishly at you. They're, they're so drunk now, they're just like, oh, it's that guy. 
Yeah, it's all I do. After you talk to them, they look kind of sick. Your right. slumminess. See, it's really funny, because that, that door just leads to a different... Apartments. Yep. I'm going to go to the apartments. I'm going to break into someone's apartment and steal their stuff. Well, hey there, child. Oh, get into here. All right, man. Man, woman, child. What do they have to say? Lock, foot locker. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. Don't worry, talk to them. See what they have to say. See, they only have three credits. I wonder what they have to say. Are you supposed to be here? This ain't your home. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. Don't. Don't hurt my family. Just take what you want and get out. <laughs> you really are the bad guy. I just walked in and took their stuff and left. That's fair. I'm not going to say they're wrong. Remember her? Oh, yeah. Hey, lady. Oh. Oh. Yep. If we drink too much, we'll pass out. And they all drink too much. You killed them, Cody. Lady makes their face and murdered a bunch of party goers. I'm uh, I'm honestly yeah, disappointed. Stuck in their bodies. Yeah, I'm honestly disappointed that I can't, you know, take, join them. Take no, take their stuff. You mean like this? Well, I mean, there are other stuff. So now, what's cool about the Seth armor is that while you're wearing it, it'll change a lot of the dialogue. You can talk when you talk to people. It's empty now, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, if you put it on, you go talk to people. Your their attitudes are, they'll, they'll they they won't notice that you're a different person. They'll just see the Sith armor. Ah, uh, they'll just be like. So yeah, if you go talk to that one guy, I think his dialogue changes a little bit. Uh, well, they just left their door open. This is, they they asked for this. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Karth. 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 <laughs> Karth, let me let me pass. No, you need you need to stop. So yeah, this game's people. this game's all save is really weird. How it all saves is that it will only all save when you enter a new area. I mean, when you like go through like one, a blue, one of those blue doors. Mm -hmm. But it will only all save if you have if it, if it hasn't all saved in the last fifteen minutes. Oh. So it doesn't like all save in certain areas. It's only a, like in Skyrim, it all saves whenever you enter a new area. Nope. So yeah, well, it still could be a big difference, but it's Largo. Please, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Kill me. I'll have to Alex money. Oh, I I've heard that name before. I don't want to die. Here, here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding. Uh, he's going to need that for Davik, though. What are you babbling about? You mean <laughs> I thought about option number three. I thought about it. I didn't see what it was. Uh, give me the credits and I won't tell Davik. Yep. <laughs> and then you can... Just call Killian and collect the bounty. Maybe it could help you with the problem with Davik. For money. <laughs> I owe Davik money. I was late I'll pay you. For money. <laughs> huh. Alright, do you have 200 credits? Nope. You actually might have 200 credits. Oh. No, you don't have 200 credits. Don't worry. Not yet. Yep. Alright. Look, there's a footlock right next to you. Does it have credits in it? By chance? It does three. How many credits do you have? I wonder. Uh, the answer. Did that put over? Put you over. <laughs> Eighty-two. You're eighteen off. Door, you'll be making bank soon enough. See you, Largo. Oh, that's a standard door. All right, that, that leaves. So yeah, you can leave yeah, now. See, you can leave now. There's nothing else in this. Yep, area. there's no nothing. The only purpose for coming here is Largo and that uh, and getting the Sith armor. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So yeah, if you want to equip the Sith armor and go talk to people again, uh, I'm going. It changes, to it changes the, the conversations with a couple people. The Sith armor, in my opinion, just looks cooler. So it's like left, next one. This one. That's right. So. All right. And yep, that's it. Can you equip anything else? Oh yeah, look at that. Snazzy. Look at that guy. So shiny. So now That's you go. the doctor's office, right? So now if you, yeah, it's up to you. What? Well, that leaves and goes back to where the doctor's work, the doctor area was. That, that That's progression. It's up to you if you want to go back yeah, and talk I, to people. I'm going to go... So now if you talk to Sith there. soldiers... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, because you're a Sith soldier. Why, why would he yell at you? Yeah, no, no, I didn't expect him to yell. I was just. That's it. I wonder if you go talk to that life. crazy guy. Oh, yeah. What happens if I uh, talk to you, sir? Oh, goodness. He's friends with the Sith. Spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. Alright, that's all you can do. Right. You He's like, hey there, best friend. <laughs> well, I don't like him. Droid shop. I'm not really interested. No, might as well go in it. It's up to you. They sell stuff. Androids. And Androids. So if you want to buy a droid. Well, hey there, pal. Of course, the Sith are always welcome here. Oh, is it for sale? Your Sithness. That's how I like to be referred to as my my your, my Sithness. Your, your Sithness. Oh, she so she's got parts. Yeah, she sells you parts and uh, upgrades it for your droids. Okay. Because your droids can equip different kinds of armor. Yeah. So if you de-equip it, you should have a different dialogue. So now de-equip. Why don't you try try de equip in your armor? Okay. So your heavy combat suit. All right, and then talk to her again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my droid, android supply shop. Yeah, Tweedlers are pretty much the, the only races that are liked up here because humans find them attractive. Ah, that's... all the other all the other races are humans don't find attractive, so that's why they're not really well liked up here. Ah. That's mean. Who do they have against the Twelix? Yeah. Say. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep, I see. They're the most common kind of dancer you'll see in this game. That's terrible. <laughs> you need a little more tolerant than others in this day, so please. I guess stupidity and years will never last time. That's oddly concerning with, with, with what's going on right now. Yeah. That means in the real world. Yeah. <laughs> Is this compensated in all my assault droids? Darn it, I wanted a droid to kind of. What do you do? It doesn't tell the. Those haven't been invented yet. <laughs> well. What utility droids? What do they do? What don't they do? For starters, pretty handy to have in a fight. Yep, they can do wheel pistols. Can they? Yep. Jesus. There's no better code breaker. That is also true. There's anything illegal, of course. <laughs> that's that's fine. I. All right. I see your droids. Let me see your droids. Aw. So you can buy the T3H8 if you want it. I'll get a T3H8. The guys are liable as you use They'll follow you anywhere. Alright. 
Ready to go off an adventure with your new droid buddy? Yeah. Alright, he'll, he'll, just, he'll just join your party. Okay. Because you can have up to two party members. Not gonna say hi to him? Is he. Yeah, he's a boy. I like you. Hooray! <laughs> no! I just bought you! Better go complain. Uh, I hope you like the adventure code, because. Hey. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's, it's still in your shop, technically. It blew up! It blew up. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I thought I fixed the fact that it blows up. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Door. Alright, you can either. I don't have to give you a refund, but you just told me a broken droid. You better give me a refund. I think you should for all the trouble. There wasn't a whole lot of trouble. My feelings. It's like I came in. You gave me my fifty credits back. It's fine. You might as well just keep going. Bye. She has to use later on. Yep, there's now your dead droid. Da, 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 da. Oh, why, why did it turn to Jurassic Park? Because if you play Jurassic Park all So where are you going to go now? Did you want to progress or did you want to go talk to people? Just just check out your Sith armor. I was Because there, there's really no reason to go back right now. You might as well just continue forward. Yeah, I was going to get my Sithy armor on, which is this one. Are you just going to go talk to people and get the reactions or... Uh, no. If I recall, was the elevator over here? Yeah. Okay, elevator okay. was over here. I was say, please don't, please don't waste our time about yeah, wandering around and talking to random people. No, I was going to head back. And you're, you're a scourge. That man is a scourge. Yeah, I talked to the dude. Another patrol heading down to the lowest Yeah. He, he never references that yeah. Karth is not an armor. Oh no, my, my favorite part is that earlier he said something about credentials, and my credentials are just this Sith armor. He doesn't even... Yeah, well, credentials are a higher form of of uh, acceptance, but he just sees your Sith armor and just assumes it's okay. Ah. He doesn't actually check. He doesn't make sure that like some random dude didn't kill a Sith and take it. <laughs> or indeed heck, go to a party. Yeah. Oh dang! Oh dang! He's got a sword. The Vulcans are stronger. I hate these guys. <laughs> you know, looking at that face, the ra the race is always evil in this game. So if you ever see one, you probably want to kill one. Ah, I believe in we'll you. We'll teach you who's strongest. Oh no! I believed in him. And now he's dead. Yeah, you believe in the wrong wrong guy. You, did you believe in that guy too? Not oh, really. this guy. Yeah, not not really. Just mostly just the Rodian, because the Rodians are awesome. Sith aren't welcome here. You're not welcome here either. I'm gonna give you a bad time. Great. That's actually a good idea. His face. Well You got one. Slicey. Help. Help. Help, potato. Eh. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take his stuff. He attacks you, he loses permission to have items. Woo! Alright. So you may as well take off his Sith armor because that's going to ruin a lot of conversations. Ah, and the Sith armor isn't actually that good. The only, the only good thing is that it has a high Dex bonus. I, I so like unless you had a bonus. yeah, but this armor, the max Dex bonus is higher than your Dex bonuses, anyways. Oh. So running, running, and there's a cantina. He just, oh, he just unlocked it. You just open it. You have to unlock it. Oh, okay. Let's go. Woo! Adventure!
All right, there. Where's where's the guy we were looking for? Hold on, so just keep, keep want you to look around. Oh, hey, there's more. Oh, hey. Guess who we'll find? Go away. Big bad guy, Cal Nord. Cal Nord. Cal Nord. He's a badass. Oh dang! He must be tough. This one's looks like nothing but a runt. <laughs> He'd be ton funny tough. Nope. Oh, Black Volker. Don't <laughs> know who they are. They're the bad game. Uh, I like this guy. One, two. Why do you count? Try to count him and messes against him. <laughs> he's, he's gonna kill them. I, I like this guy. He's just one. Three against one cow. There's nothing more to say. Bye. All right, you can talk to Cal now. Hey, Cal, you're a badass. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. Two. <laughs> Come on, I'm just just. It's I... up to you if you. <laughs> Eeny meeny miny mo, catch tiger by the toe, if he hollers at him. I wish I had saved before this. Yeah. You can say okay, save, and then talk to him. Okay. Smart. <laughs> Alright, and save game. They really just want to talk to Cat. Wow, that's safe. You can hit space and pause it real quick so, so you can uh, get your marbles together. Well, my marbles are fine. Go talk to him before he leaves. If he leaves, you'll never be able to talk to him again. Oh no, come here. Come here. You're stuck. Come here. Nope, you only get one chance. No! So yeah, if you had kept on to him, he would immediately attack you, and he is much, much higher level than you are. Okay. He would have instantly killed you, probably. Oh, oh god. Scene. Freaking Herodians. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh ho ho. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I just bought my food. God damn it. A <laughs> problem with you, little girl. <laughs> Look how tough, big and tough we are. Other <laughs> guys just looking around like, I might leave. I might leave this guy here. He can die with the Wookie to, to the Wookie. Thanks for your contribution. Yep. Alright. You wanna to talk to them? Hey there. Hey! We speak the same language. Or that's where a Twilight that speaks Galactic Basic. Is that weird? Well, Twilight usually speak Twilight. Yeah. You, you just understand almost all languages. Huh. I think the only language we ever encounter that you do not understand is the Sand People language. Ah. Yeah, I was going to say, most aliens can speak basic. Well, but they prefer to not speak, not yeah. talk basic. Yeah. I think, like, one of the credits says that they, almost all aliens can understand basic. They just choose to speak their own language or they're incapable of speaking uh, basic. 
Uh, like Wookiees, they usually can't speak basic, but they usually understand See, because when I saw a Twi'lek like, speaking basic, I was just like, oh, it's like a, Lu- a, a Luminara Unduli. He's a Jedi. I have a Wookiee and a stranger to them, but they his best friends. That's a good question. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. Look huge he is. He's so big. Questions. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. First question. He is pretty much the bull of fed up bounty hunters. Oh. So he's kind of stuck here due to the Sith Core team. Oh, okay. So he's kind of murdering like random, uh, really low bounty people. Gotcha. Which he, he as, as you can guess, he hates because they're not a challenge. You guys aren't better than me. You know when you're when you usually fight like high profile, you know, heavily armed dudes, and suddenly you have to kill gang members. Yeah, it gets. That's why uh, that's why he hates when people keep bugging him. It's because you know he's just badass and he has to hang around with all these guys. There's nothing like, else to do. Wow, I'm a huge fan. One, I, I see, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Two. Oh, okay. All right. All right bye. <laughs> that was you. Yep. You can, you can go. Shoot. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Come on, Let's go. Come on. So yeah, that's your clue. All right. I'm gonna hit the back. Back. Beth or Beck base, the hidden Becks as they're called. So yeah, explore the rooms real quick. It's in here. Aha! The man of the hour! Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the tweet like dancers. Look at them waggle those Look at them waggle those head tails. But I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. <laughs> Yeah, the guy, the bounty. Yeah. Not interested in your love life. You hear about that? I guess that you must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. I tried to cut me with a fibro blade. Why would, Why she, would do she do that? Well... <laughs> Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. It sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no Okay. Problem. She didn't have to cut me. Sounds like maybe you get what you deserved. I want the bounty of Dinah's head removed. That's that's the one. Does there have to be? Yeah, not really. You could you could just leave and not have her murdered. You just just forget about her. All right. He wants two hundred credits to forget about it. Or you tell, do you want be a good person? Uh, yeah. Look like a wuss. Or you're a dead man. It's up to you. I'm gonna try persuading. I'm gonna try persuading. I guess you may be right. Besides, <laughs> I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. <laughs> this, this woman attacked me for making advances, and so I put a bounty on her head. Now all the women don't like me. I wonder why. <laughs> Woo! Light side. Yeah, I can talk my way out of anything. All right, where are you gonna go now? I don't know. Can we go in this room? That's a name. I want to talk to him. 
What are you? Okay. You think we are strange? I think... Yeah, y you, what are you? <laughs> so it means, it means I think you're a freak! You, I'm tempted, just like, you're a monster! <laughs> but he's got information. He doesn't have any information. <laughs> oh, well then I'm just gonna go back. See. He, he literally has nothing. All he has is flavor text. What and kind of... Actually, I do want to know this. Hairdrag. Your other head. Yeah, this... Alright, so... I'll be going now. We just want quarantine to end so we can go back home. The quarantine will never end. Yeah, no. Not so long as there's a Jedi here. Not so long as there's a Jedi here. Hi, what are you saying? Because I'm a bard. Corpses are still there. Oh, rude. Okay, so that's the way I came. Yep. Alright, so then what's this one? This last room. Is that. Who's this guy? Sax. He gives up the bounties. You don't have any bounties, so there's no point talking to him. Huh. Bounty hunter, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Alright, may as well leave. Goodbye. Goodbye. To fight Darth Revan. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> All right. So yeah, you want to go down that way? Ba, 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 da, Look, the hidden backs. Just right, right, right. Just where those little hidden those. back base. So hidden. Oh, it's. But I guess it's just the name of it, right? Yeah. They're, they're called the hidden backs. Huh. You, you can try opening it. I, I just did. You tried to lock it. You didn't try opening it. Oh. Oh, it is this title. <laughs> it's not actually hidden. I'm no spy. Uh, I need to get on top. Give me so basically. Uh, uh, maybe I could be an ally. Gets all those enemies. Your story won't work. I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to. Sh you don't look like you're with the whole card. I wonder what would happen if you put on your Sith armor and walked in here. <laughs> I'd probably die. <laughs> So yeah, pretty much what happened was uh, Gadon had a uh, accident and he went blind. And oh. So everybody assumed his second command was going to take up, uh, to get in charge, but he said, "Nah, I don't think my second command is ready yet." The guys, like the guy, got pissed, went over to the Black Valkers, killed their leader, and became the leader of the Black Valkers. Oh. And he's turned them into a warring society. Control room. Don't. There's nothing over here. I don't think there's anything over here, at least. No try. Magic door. Ooh, it's in the box. Barrel. Ooh. Med pack. Credits. Credits. And a concussion grenade. Hidden back. Hidden back. Hidden back. They're not hidden at all. I can open this. And dry. No Didn't work. Okay. Impossible. Like, no matter what you do. So why don't you talk with this guy and then we'll we'll cut it. Alright. This it's seems like a good this place. Guy? Yeah. Alright. Have to check. No, get him. Oh, she was supposed to yell at you and you got too close since you went to a weird route. <laughs> She's supposed, she's supposed to yell at you and say, you know, don't get too close. Who are who, who the hell are you? And he's like, you know what, calm down. We don't need to shoot every single person that walks in. You have problems with the Sith? I have problems with the Sith. Declares martial law and locks down all travel to and from the planet. If you 
damn well bet I've got a problem with that. You like his blind eyes. I mean, they actually are more detailed than most he, of the he other He constantly characters. says, I can see that you're a good, you know, person. I'm like, how? <laughs> I know if he's completely blind or if he's decided he's just damaged. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the world, sir. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang. He, he might just, like, get a sense. Maybe he's a Jedi. Oh, listen. Who's that? <laughs> There's a lot of blind Jedi. The escape box? No, I heard the Sith have been asking around the other city about them as well. You don't look like you're here. Okay, wait, now that that bit there. Okay. What? You don't look like you're with the Sith. That bit there actually is questionable. I, I'm not sure. I believe you. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy is my friend, so... The enemy of my friend is my enemy? Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Huh. Yep, the Vulkers have her. Well, I've got to get in there and rescue her. That's an actual question. I'm curious. Uh, either one gives you the same answer. Oh. That's okay. You're saying that out loud in front of him. Jeez, he's whispering to you. Oh, okay, all right. Frederick's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. Big swoop race. Swoop race. What does that have to do with that? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Regic's game to take over the lower city. Oh? He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop game records. By putting up such a valuable prize, Regic hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. So yeah, you have to help them win the swoop race so you can win Bastila. Okay. But we can't fight all the gangs. We only hope you have... Sure you can! Somehow... <laughs> Sure you can? Get him. Can, can you help? How do I enter the soup race? I don't even have a soup race. How, how do I help? So you get to, you do get to drive a swoop bike in this game. Oh yeah. It's not like the ones in, um, in the movie, though. It's a little bit different. <laughs> I don't work with gangs. No, I work with gangs. That's my character. He's a smuggler. <laughs> So here's another questionable thing. He 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 automatically as as says you're 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 going to be the one to drive the thing because he sees that he feels that you are a good driver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So pretty much they had an awesome engine, but the other team stole it. Oh. So he has to go steal it back. If you do that, he'll let you drive, and then if you win, you get the you get the yeah. Clint Basilo. The front door is locked. Oh gosh! I click. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He, he he mentioned that that mission would know a way in. Okay. Do you remember her? She was that lady with the Wookiee. Yeah. 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 Right. No, Kasa. He mentioned that. It's hard to tell in game, but she's like fourteen. Oh. Huh. She's not that old. I don't know exactly how old is she. I, that's just a guess. She okay. might she might be like eighteen or something like that, but I think she is a little, uh, younger. Okay. She's down in the I can heat across the sky by self. Damn it. <laughs> they do care this time. Guess what? He has papers. Oh. Alright. What's it, what's he gonna need to get those papers? I want my disguise. I do want my disguise. It's up to you. You you need the papers to progress. Okay. So saying okay, I'll take the trade for you versus it will be the fastest. No, I like it. 
Soon the Sith will realize they've got a few too many uniforms missing, and the only way to get around will be the security players. See, uh oh. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Just say okay. I have to say okay. No! I could have been a Sith. Yeah, it's not me. Yeah, the prototype The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Alright, well, I guess we know what we're gonna do next time. Yep, next time, going to the Undercity to find mission. And then going to get the swoop thing and going to save Aslo by racing. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this is pod racing. I hate you, Cody. You can, you can hate me if you want. Alright, so until next time, have a good day. Yeah, enjoy your time. Bye. Bye. Stay here.